Most myths in Greek mythology about a god falling in love with a female, whether a goddess, nymph, or mortal, go something like this. The god sees her, is overcome with lust for her, pursues her, often takes her against her will, and then she either dies, marries him, or transforms into something to save herself from him. This is what happens in the stories of Zeus and Semele. She dies. Zephyrus and Flora, she marries him, and Apollo and Daphne, she transforms into a laurel tree. The story of Pan and Syrinx, which is found in Ovid's Metamorphosis, follows a similar structure with Syrinx transforming into something. But it gets even weirder. The son of Hermes and a wood nymph Penelope, Pan was the god of shepherds, fertility, the wild, and spring. He had the upper body of a man, but the hindquarters, legs, and horns of a goat. Pan was a lustful god, known for his sexual prowess, so much so that the Greeks often depicted him with a phallus. On the rare occasion, he would lust after a woodland nymph or two, trying to seduce them. However, they were always put off by his unusual demeanor, and retreated scared into the forest. Syrinx was one such woodland nymph. She was a skilled hunter and a devout follower of Artemis, the goddess of virginity and the hunt. Said to be as beautiful as the goddess herself, Syrinx remained a virgin and committed herself to never fall into temptation. One day, while returning from a hunting trip, Syrinx chanced upon the satyr Pan. Enthralled by her beauty, he fell in love with her right on the spot. He chased after her, praising her beauty and declaring his love. But poor Syrinx, realizing that her virtue was at stake, tried to flee. She was swift-footed, and Pan was no match. But as ill luck would have it, she chose the wrong path and ended up on the banks of the river Ladon. With Pan giving chase, she had nowhere to run. In a desperate attempt, she pleaded with the water nymph to save her. Just as Pan was about to seize her, the water nymphs transformed her into cattail reeds. Clutching on to nothing but a small clump of reeds, Pan despaired. He breathed a heavy sigh and his breath flowed through the reeds, creating a musical tune. Realizing what had happened, Pan decided to keep Syrinx close forever. He cut the reeds into shape and with wax and string, he fashioned them into a set of pipes. This was the first pan flute. Pan carried it everywhere and it became his symbol. Its sweet melodies eternalized the grace and beauty of the nymph Syrinx. So that's how the story of Pan and Syrinx ended. It's a depressing tale with the lovely Syrinx ending up as an instrument for the gods. Demonstrating the pain of lust and unreciprocated love, this myth highlights how a god's unbridled desire can lead to unfortunate circumstances for the female he pursues. But there are deeper meanings to this story. It can be seen as a representation of the power struggle between male and female in Greek mythology, with the male god trying to impose his control over the virgin female. Syrinx transforms near water, a symbol of purity, in order to protect her virginity. Does her life end or begin with her new form? This is open to interpretation. Either way, Pan still gets to control and manipulate her, using her as he desires. She becomes an object for his personal use and a symbol for him. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel so we can keep making more videos like this. Thanks for watching.